only source of life. Or else you are going to suffocate and die. Because many of you, many of, the, the, I think the problem before I pray for you, problem of us Christians, we think we become Christians to avoid death. Uh-uh. That's your problem. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were cornered like us. You see now, Satan is cornering us now. Eh? Satan is cornering you that say, if you don't take this, you don't get this. If you don't take this, there's no life for you. You must tell them that even if my God does not save me, but you, Satan, you must know I will never bow down to you. Say to neighbor, say, God first. The rest will come after. Because our problem is that we fear people. We fail to fear the Holy Spirit. If you fear a man, God will reject you. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? So from now on, be like these three brothers. When Satan cornered them, and look what the king is doing. He said, can you please increase this fire for only that occasion? And if you check, these people were not criminals. They didn't do anything wrong to, des- to deserve the punishment. But the king said, go and increase seven times seven. They were cornered. I'm saying this because today the church is cornered. Christians are cornered. Our believers are cornered. The faith is shaky. Faith is shaky like this. They don't know what to do. God first. I'm saying God first. I say God first. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Amen. Hey, God first. Amen. Tell your neighbor again. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. I can't hear you. Uh, you're not talking. I can't hear you. Uh, you're not talking. Amen. You people there, they beg. You're not talking. Huh? the time of now only prayer will help you Amen. only prayer will make you not to suffocate Amen. because many of you here you are going to suffocate a lot your faith will be shaken you know Satan will love to ask you questions so now my question also for you is that are you ready to answer those questions that's my question for you because Satan will come to you and ask you questions. Remember, Jesus Christ was asked questions. So even you, your time to be asked questions is coming. Are you ready for that? That faith, it will be tested now. Now. Your faith will be tested. So now we want to see how strong are you. Now we are like I'm rooty. You know, we used to have that time. Everyone is talking about their pastor, their pastor. Their... That time is, is going to be finished soon. You are going to be on your own. You are going to be on your own. I'm telling you. So now my question for you, are you strong enough? That's my question for you. Will you stand on your own? That's my question. Will you stand on your own? I want to pray for you. But I'm feeling these words in my heart that I must tell you. Because many of you, small thing, it shakes you, brother. Very small. It shakes you. We are, we are going, tell your neighbor, say neighbor, we are going to a new era of Christianity. Is your faith big enough? 
Is your faith ready enough? That's my question for you. And how do you increase your faith? It's when you pray. The Bible says a, a wise man will always think about his death. It's not about death that is important. A wise man will always think that I need God all the time. That's what the Bible is trying to say. Because any time my soul can be required. Tell your neighbor again, God first. God first. The, rest, the rest after. after. Clap hands for Holy Spirit. <laughs>